Welcome back to part two, where we will begin on the bikini cups and then attach them to the bottom and finish the border. Okay, now we're gonna start on the top portion of the bikini. So go ahead and make a slip stitch. All right, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and make a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we're going to chain one more for the turning chain. And from here, go ahead and yarn over. And we're going to do a row of double crochets. So we'll do seven double crochets. And this is the same for all the sizes at this point. I will point out where it's different. But from here, it is all the same. chain one and turn my work and now I'm going to do um, the single crochets going backwards so we're basically just setting up our alpine stitch so seven double crochets and then seven single crochets going back one two three four one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. From here, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And we're going to begin on our alpine stitches. So the first uh, stitch is still going to be a regular double crochet. And then the second stitch, we're going to go ahead and start our front post double crochets. And a regular single, a uh, regular double crochet in the next stitch. And then a front post double crochet. And then a regular. And then a double crochet and then a regular double crochet in our last stitch okay now we're going to chain one and turn our work and we're going to do this stitch three more times so that I'm sorry two more times so that you have two rows three rows, I'm sorry, of the alpine stitch, okay? So go ahead and complete two more rows with the seven, with the seven stitches. Complete two more rows of the alpine stitch and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I completed three rows of the alpine stitch or achieved three bumps here and now we are going to start increasing okay and we're going to increase in every row just like uh, we did for the bikini bottom so chain one and turn your work go ahead and do your single crochets back and seven okay chain one and turn okay so now we're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch 
for an increase. One and two. Okay. And that stitch here is already a front pro stitch from the previous row, so we'll go ahead and do a regular double crochet and then we'll do a front post on the next one and then a regular double crochet next and then a front post double crochet on the next stitch and then a regular Okay, and then we'll increase again on our last stitch by putting two double crochets in that last stitch. So now we have nine, chain one, turn our work, and let's do our single crochets going down. Okay, chain one, turn our work, and we're going to continue to increase. So put two in the first stitch, and then continue your alpine stitch. And we're going to continue increasing. I'm going to stop there because the increases are the same as the front of the bikini. So do your increases for a size small. And, and for a size medium, you're going to continue these increases until you have 19 stitches in your row. A size large is going to continue. Large and extra large will continue until you have 21 stitches in your row. Um, and, a, and a 2X is going to continue until you have 23. If you're above that, um, you might want to continue for like a 3x you might want to still do 23 but you you might want to just measure that up against yourself and kind of see um you know if it does give you the coverage you need up there or not okay so continue your increases and i will show you the next step after that Okay, so I have completed um, my increases until I have 19 in this row. So if you were a medium, you will also have 19 here. A large and an extra large should have 21. And a 2X should have 23. Um, if you're needing something larger than that, then I would just measure this up against myself just to see if it's long enough to or wide enough to cover the breast okay from here we're going to stop our increases and we're going to um, just do the alpine st stitch straight for at least four more rows okay or four more rounds for the entire alpine Okay, so go ahead and do your single crochets across. Chain one, turn your work. 
And now we're going to just do the regular alpine stitch. So your first one is always a regular, first and last is always regular single crochet, or double crochet, sorry. And then we're going to alternate um, between the front post double crochet and the regular double crochet. So go ahead and do four more rows of this and I will meet you back and show you what to do next. Okay, so I've completed four more rows of that. So I wanted to show you kind of how to count just in case you lost your place. Okay, so if you flip it on the back, you can kind of tell where the single the single crochets are as opposed to the double crochets you can tell like these little ridges here is where the single crochets are make sure that makes sense so like this would be double crochets and single crochets you could see the bumps here okay so if you go ahead and count those bumps those ridges it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I have thirteen rows of single crochets, and then I have one more row of double crochet over that. This is kind of a safe place to go ahead and see. I mean, if you're a size small, this should be able to fit under the breast. Back to the picture. You kind of want to put this cup under here and make sure that it comes all the way around the breast and kind of covers it. So if you're like a size small and you need like um, maybe you have maybe you're a size small that's a D cup so you might want to make this a little bit longer but if you're like a A or B cup this should be fine so from here this is just from this is under the breast here okay so just make it as long as it needs to be to cover your your breast all the way fully and then from there we'll continue okay so from here once you're done with um, that length that you need to cover your breast fully go ahead and chain one and turn your work and now we're gonna do one row of single crochets like we normally would but the next row is gonna be different because I'm going to um, make a little slit area so that there's different ways to wear this and I want to have the option to run a string under the breast area for um, more support and more yeah just more support there um, so I'll show you what I mean once we're done with this row of single crochets Go ahead and chain one and turn your work. And in this first stitch, we're going to put a single crochet. And then we're going to chain one and skip this next chain and put a single crochet into the third chain space and then chain one and skip a chain. So that way, I mean, these holes are pretty small but there'll be a little hole here so you can run a string in and out of that and that'll help you um, keep it'll probably just help it be more secure depending on how you wear um, how you decide to wear your bikini so yeah go ahead and chain one and skip a chain in between and then single crochet and that's what we're doing for the rest of this row. Chain one, skip a chain, single crochet. Chain one, skip a chain, 
single crochet, chain one, skip a chain, and then single crochet into the next chain, chain one, skip a chain, single crochet, and then chain one, skip that chain, and single crochet into your last chain. Okay? From there, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to do one more row of single crochets. So this time, we're going to single crochet in every space. So go ahead and single crochet into that first single crochet. Then find that hole and single crochet into the hole. Okay? So we'll single crochet into the next single crochet and then we'll single crochet into that hole that we created. Okay, and just finish the row this way. And believe it or not, we're like almost done. <laughs> It's just really easy from here. And one more single crochet. Okay. So when you flip it over, it kind of looks like that. Okay. And you can kind of see the holes now. Okay, from here we're going to um, continue with the alpine stitch. Oops, one of my stitches came out. From here we're going to continue with the alpine stitch. And um, to do that, just chain one and turn your work. And we're going to do this first row with double crochet. to go ahead and do one row of alpine before I get into that. So go ahead and yarn over and your first stitch will be a double crochet regular. 
and then your next stitch we're going to just go right back to what we were doing so go ahead and do a front post double crochet there and then continue alternating okay just like we've been doing Okay, so go ahead and do um, go ahead and do like three rows of this, and then I'll get into showing you how to make sure that your torso measurement is going to be okay. Okay, so I'm going to do like three more rows, just so you have a better visual of it. All right, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I went on ahead and I did three rows of the alpine stitch this is going into the torso so whatever your measurement was we're gonna have to decrease that by at least one inch I know for a size small I'm sorry at least for one and a half inch so for a size small usually the torso is about nine inches long now you'll see that this has a lot of stretch going this way but we're not really interested in this part this cut part stretching we're more so interested in down here okay this is going to stretch a fair amount so like i said a size small torso is usually about nine inches so I'm going to aim to do about seven and a half inches here. Otherwise, you know, this part will be kind of hanging off the skin. It'll be hanging off the skin like that. And you really want a bikini to be tight. You do not want it hanging off. So for the other sizes, I would say for a size medium, you could also get away with seven and a half to eight inches. A size large would definitely be eight inches flat and then um, a size extra large and 2x I would probably shoot for eight and a half inches I mean unless you're tall um, you kind of this that doesn't really change that much that that greatly if you are if you have a shorter torso, so let's say your torso might be eight inches, you might want to go for, you know, six and a half inches. You just don't want this part to be too long. So, um, like I said, for a size small, I'm going to do seven and a half inches. I would recommend seven and a half to eight inches for a medium and also um, eight inches for a large, eight and a half for extra large or 2x um, a 3x again I would just measure that and see and then subtract about at least an inch and a half to two inches off of there okay so go ahead and make this as long as you need um, I have worked that out before and so for a size small it's gonna be 14 rows total okay so go ahead and make it as long as you need and I will show you what to do after that all right so I have completed 14 14 little bumps of row, rows of bumps here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen and fourteen and I did not do the next row of single crochet, uh, yeah, single crochets. So you'll see that this is about seven and a half inches, but you'll also see that, like I said, the torso for a size small is about nine, but this will stretch down there, and that's why you need it to be a little bit shorter, not 
that much, but at least an inch and a half to two inches shorter, okay? So once you have that done, go ahead and chain one and tie off, okay? And so we're going to make our second cup. Go ahead and start on your second cup. You can rewind this video. Just make it exact same size as you made this one. And when you're done with that one, don't cut that one off. Don't tie off because we're going to continue to work from that string. Okay? So I'll meet you as soon as you're done with your second cup. And I'll show you how to attach um, the cups to the bottom. All right, so I finished both cups. They're the same size. And so now it's time to attach these cups to your bikini bottom, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is take your, take the front side, not the small side, that's the back. Take the front side, which is the larger side. And you wanna find the middle chain here. Um, so I have 29 stitches in this row, which means the middle chain would be the 15th chain. So I'm going to find that chain and mark that space off. And then once you have that chain marked off, so you have one cup that's cut off, and this cup we didn't tie off yet, okay? So you want the one that depending on which handed you are left or right handed if you're right handed you want this cup on the left hand side um and you want this cup with the string with your working yarn still attached on the right i think it'll be flipped if you're if you crochet left handed okay but just make sure that um this is on the outside and that this tail is on the inside, if that makes sense. I guess because you could have it like this with the working yarn on the inside, you don't want that. You want the working yarn on the outermost cup, okay? On the outermost side of the cup, okay? Um, so that's kind of how it's going to be attached. So what we're going to do is, so this is the 15th chain, and we have 19 chains here. So we're actually going to have four chains open first before we even attach them. So what I'm going to do is first go ahead and, I'm going to move that one for now, move that for now. I'm going to go ahead and do four single crochets because there are, let me chain one first for my turning chain, but I'm going to do four single crochets because there are 15 chain spaces to get to the middle of the bikini bottom. One, two, three, four. And once I'm there, I'm going to take my, my bikini bottom and with the right side facing the right side of the cup, I'm going to line that on there too like that. I'm going to put a, a single crochet into this first chain space here. And I'm going to single crochet them together. So make sure that you have the two right sides together. Insert your hook into the next chain space of the cup. And then insert your hook into the first chain space of the bikini bottom. And then you can kind of line that on there. So what you want to do first is just pull up a loop through both of those stitches. So I'll do that one more time. So I already have my four here. On my fifth, I'm going to insert my hook into that one and then insert my hook into the first stitch 
on the bikini bottom. Okay, then I'm going to pull up a loop, oops, pull up a loop, yarn over and single crochet. Okay, and then we're going to continue that. So go into the next loop of the bikini top and then go into the next loop of the bikini bottom and be sure not to skip any stitches. Pull up a loop and single crochet, okay? And we're gonna continue that. Go insert your hook into the next loop of each piece. Pull up a loop and single crochet, okay? And we're gonna do that for every stitch until until we reach that middle stitch, which is when this cup should run out, if we did our counting right. And I know the numbers will be different for every size, but basically you're just finding the middle stitch and then start single crocheting until you have the same amount as the middle stitch. That's why I have four left over because I had 19 on here. But feel free to so that the right sides are together again, okay? Because this is a middle stitch, it's not um, divided in half e evenly. It's an odd number. So we're going to have to put one more double crochet into this middle stitch of the bikini bottom. So in order to do that, I'm going to first insert my hook I'm gonna pull that up a little bit so it stays. But I'm gonna insert my hook into the first stitch of my second cup. Try to keep that on the inside, that tail. And then I'm going to insert into this second, to this uh, middle stitch here, the same stitch we just finished the other cup in. And I'm going to Pull a loop through both, okay? And then I'm going to just chain one here, okay? Then I'm going to insert into the same two spaces, so in, into the first chain space of the first cup 
or the second cup, I'm sorry, and back into that middle stitch that we just worked out of and pull up a loop. And now I'm going to single crochet. Okay. And also make sure that this is lined on there. But from here is the same. So here you're going to go to the next stitch of the second cup. And then you will go into the next stitch of the bikini bottom. And it should work out that you have the same amount of chains left over um, from this cup. So for me, I should have four chain spaces of cup that's left over once I get done matching all of these stitches together. Okay, so just keep matching them. Be careful not to skip any stitches. It's always nice when you can weave your tails in as you go. Okay, I'm going to let that tail fall now. Make sure you don't skip that last corner stitch of the bikini bottom. Okay, and then I should have four stitches left. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And just go ahead and single crochet over the stitches that you have left that's only going to be on the cup. That way both sides are even. So now they are connected to the bottom. So once you have those together, what we're going to do next is we're going to start on our border. And actually, if you wanted to use the same color, you totally could. I think it would be cute in the same color. Um, but I'm going to use this hot pink. It's so tangled, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to use this hot pink, though. I think that would be cute. So, in order to do that, we're going to first make sure that we have this facing upwards with the front on the top. Okay. And then we're going to find on the outside piece on the outside corner of the top we're going to find our corner most um, chain space and tie a knot there this color combo is so me <laughs> okay tie a double knot there And from here, what we're going to do is insert our hook and pull up a loop. Okay. And then from here, we're going to make start making our first strap. So go ahead and chain out 75 chains. And if you are a size large, extra large, or 2X, you might want to do 85 to 100 chains. Okay, so go ahead and chain out 
um, the amount of chains for your size and I'll show you what's next. All right, once you've made your chain long enough for your size, go ahead and chain one more. And then we can start slip stitching, starting with the second chain from the hook. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then pull that through the one loop on your hook. Insert into the next space, pull up a loop, and pull through the one loop on your hook. So we're basically just going to go down this row doing slip stitches until we reach the beginning of this um, string here. Okay, so I will meet you there and show you what to do after that. Okay, so I have just, uh, let's see, I just have one slip stitch left. And then I'm going to go into that same chain space where I, I tie my knot and do one single crochet in that same space. Okay. From here, let me adjust this going sideways. From here, now we're going to go along this edge, and um, I would recommend trying to only put two single crochets into the side of every row, and don't count the rows with the single crochets, because this these rows are kind of staggered, so if you end up with three, it'll be too many and two is enough so that it won't like start puckering so I would just try to get two single crochets onto the side of every on the side of every row with a bump and don't really pay attention to um, what the little one row of single crochet is doing in there if that makes sense It'll just be too many if you end up with um, three instead of the two, and it'll start to pucker. I kept running into that situation, so just a fair warning here so that you don't do all this work and then... Um, but yeah, but pretty much we are going to continue to line the side of these rows with single crochets and then once we get to this corner here where where you have you know um, this corner where it meets the bikini bottom we'll stop I'll meet you there and then I'll show you how to do this string right there all right so I've lined the side all the way up into this corner point where it meets the um, bikini bottom here but on this corner let's see I have one more stitch and then um, this corner stitch so go ahead and put a single crochet into that corner most stitch there and from there you're going to make a string just like we did at the top so go ahead and chain out 75 or 85 to 100 if you need more chains and then finish your slip stitches back down and we'll continue um, crocheting okay and I'll meet you there and show you what to do next okay so now I have Let's see, I have one more slip stitch left right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet in that uh, same stitch that we started in and make sure that's lined alongside there. Okay, single crochet there. And now you can kind of turn your work. Okay, so now you're facing with this one upward. 
that little four chains. So go ahead and do one single crochet in each of those, those three more chains, or however many, Your, yours might be a little bit different. One more here. And from here, let's see, we have three rows of single crochets, so you can put one single crochet in every one of those rows. And three. So it kind of helps your corner get a little more rounded instead of that hard, extremely hard edge there. Now it's a little more rounded, which is nice. And from here, um, you're just going to keep Keep doing your single crochets along the edge here. Now this is similar to the top where we just need two single crochets for every like row with a bump. And then when we get to the very bottom, we're going to do one more string here. And then we'll do, so my back row has 15 single crochets back here, so I'm going to come back and do 15 single crochets here, and then do my second string. And then I'm just going to reverse it and come back along up the other side, put a string here in this corner, okay? And then come all the way back up to the top, and put a string in this top corner here okay so it's pretty much a reflection of the other side um, but yeah self-explanatory you just kind of go all the way around put your string in your two back corners here make sure you get a string in your front corners and one string at the top okay and I'll show you what's left after that all right, so I went all the way around both sides of the bikini and I have, um, oops, strings under there. I have one slip stitch left here, right there. And then what I'm gonna do is go back into this chain space that I started, that corner chain, and I'm gonna slip stitch there as well, and then I'm gonna chain one, and cut my work. So these two ends will have to weave in. Next, what we're gonna do is take our string so I finished, I just finished this string. I'm gonna take my string and find the corner chain of the same bra strap here. And just go ahead and tie another double knot. If I can get myself together. <laughs> Go ahead and tie a double knot there. Okay. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a loop. And start making my chain of 75. And then I am going to um, slip stitch down. So I'll meet you back once this string is complete. All right, so I have one slip stitch left. And then one single crochet into that first corner stitch there. And then I'm going to single crochet along the edge, just like we did at first. So I will meet you in the middle and kind of show you how I'm going to do that middle stitch there once we get down there. Okay, so continue and I'll show you what's next. Okay, so I'm just about at that middle stitch there. So what I'm going to do is... 
when I get there, I'm just going to simply, let's see, I'm going to put one more uh, single crochet on the side here. And then in that middle stitch, I'm going to put one single crochet. And then I'm going to continue and go back up. So it really is not that big of a deal. Um, I just wanted to show you that. And so we're going to finish going up on the other side and finish the string on the other side. And from there, there's uh, one more step after that, and I'll show you what that is when we get there. All right, so after you have lined your entire swimsuit on the outside and on this middle V part, the very last step is to make a chain for um, under the breast here. That will help you get more support and keep this from sliding off or in, out or in. So you wanna stay secure. Um, it also helps keep this raised up to a certain level so this part doesn't, you know, kind of bunch. All right, so the last, very last thing that we have to do is make a supporting string for under the cup area. So what you want to do is go ahead and make a slip knot and then if you are a size small you're going to chain out 150. If you're a size medium you can also do 150. If you're a size large I would recommend maybe 175. Maybe a lot, uh, extra large, also 175, and then a 2x would be 200, and a 3x would also be 200 chains. So you can make this chain um, as a single strand like this, and just when you're done, um, you just chain one and cut and tie off. And that'll be your string or if you want to double it up like we've been doing with the um, other straps then you would make this chain as long as you need it to be and then you would start slip stitching down and I'll show you how to finish um, the string at the end okay okay so I have one more slip stitch left So from here, I normally just chain one and then cut a pretty long string like that. And then I just tie this like a whole bunch of times. <clears throat> one, two, three. that should do it and then I get a kind of a smaller hook this is an F hook yeah 3.75 millimeters and I just take these tails and kind of weave them a couple of times and then I cut them so I just randomly bring them down both of them just to kind of secure it and sometimes the first one is really really hard ah. come on <laughs> 